Hey, this is Andrew Cummings with another Our Man in Brazil video cast, and I want to start off today's uh, broadcast talking, uh, giving a couple shout-outs to a couple churches. I understand that one of our previous videos was actually shown, uh, I'm not sure if it was in the service or in Sunday school, but shown at the West Windsor Baptist Church, and uh, so I wanted to give a shout-out to them, and, and thank you all for praying for us and be interested, being interested in our ministry and uh, your investment in our ministry. And uh, we, we look forward to be sharing, being able to share some exciting things in the future uh, with regard to our church construction. Lots of stuff going on there. Uh, the, the, uh, the plans are being drawn up for the new building, and as soon as we have some new news on that front, I'll let you know. But to the folks at West Windsor, thank you very much, and, and God bless Pastor King and, and the folks there close to Binghamton, New York. Then I want to give a shout out also to the folks at West Smyrna Baptist Church, also in upstate New York. Uh, this is the church. My, my mother grew up in this church, and, and, and I kind of grew up in this church because every time we would take vacations, uh, it, uh, we would Christmas vacations, summer vacations, we would inevitably end up at my grandparents' house and at the West Smyrna Baptist Church. So a lot of real good friends there, and they sent us, they just sent us this beautiful Christmas card and also a lovely uh, Christmas ornament. That the folks there made, and I, I'm uh, certain that it will end up uh, have a have a special place on the Cummings family Christmas tree this year. Uh, as I remember, there are a couple people at West Smyrna that uh, uh, Mrs. Day uh, and others, uh, I think, who play the saxophone. I remember my grandfather uh, w would play the clarinet for the evening service, and they and they would bring their saxophones. and And uh, you may or may not know, I've taken up the saxophone, and so. Just to let you know, in 2016, uh, when I when I show up there, um, I'm going to bring my saxophone and we can break them out and other instruments and, and make some make some beautiful music together. All right, uh, I want to give a brief update about this weekend. Uh, Friday was great. Uh, some of you may know that I teach an English class, and uh, not not just English. Uh, it's it's actually it's English language, but it's uh, economics, uh, American government. Uh, English literature, uh, American history. I've taught uh, it's one day a week, and and um, it's just a, a school that called and asked me to help out in that area. So I was happy to, and and and, and the great privilege is is teaching these kids. These kids are are, are scary smart. Uh, I have one student who is a uh, like who who speaks some um, let's see three languages: English, French, and Portuguese, and he's learning German. I have another student who's uh, like Latin American champion of judo, and uh, so you know they're 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 really really great kids to get to know. All of them are are, are wonderful. And on Friday we had kind of our, a goodbye pizza party, and that was great. I got a chance to uh, to kind of share my heart with them. You know, in class we teach we teach things to pass the test. Well, this time I got to share a little bit about some of my core beliefs and and. Uh, and, and what I believe and, and, and why I do what I do. And, of course, it's all centered ar around the gospel. So it was a really neat time. And, and of course, and, and we went to Domino's Pizza. You know, come to Latin America and eat at Domino's Pizza. It's great. And so then that was Friday. Saturday morning, we packed up and went to went on our monthly missions excursion to the city of Bongosto out in the interior. And uh, that was that was a really neat experience on several le levels. We do this every month. I've talked about it before. It's a it's a little community way out in the middle of nowhere, two hours from the city. And uh, we, we we go out there, and every month we do evangelism. We usually do some sort of some type of social work, and and this time wasn't differently. And then and then we have a service in the evening, an evangelistic service. And this trip was special for three reasons. Our first reason, the first reason was. Um, uh, just seeing our ladies kind of get together, there was a young girl from the um, from the uh, community who uh, who is pregnant. I mean, we're talking very young. Like she was pregnant at 13 years old. She's 14 now, expecting the baby next month. Uh, terrible situation. Tr very very tragic. Uh, all, just just horrible. And uh, but what was neat was to see the ladies of our congregation spontaneously. We don't have a program. We don't have a a society for for helping this kind of person, but just uh, people in this kind of situation, but just see the ladies in our church kind of spontaneously get together and say, "Let's help this girl." 
And so we went out and we had a baby shower and she got, I don't know how many diapers, other things that she's going to need and her baby is going to need. Uh, out there in this little community, no one would do this for her. There, there's no there's no safety net or anything like that for her out there. Um, and, and, and so our church stood up and, and filled in the gap. And I was really proud of them. It's not something I came and said, hey, we need to do this. It's something the ladies of the church just kind of got together and said, we need to do this. It was awesome. Uh, we had a couple of adventures. Our, our our bus got stuck in the sand, and so we had we tried to, various ways to kind of push it out. And uh, finally, we called in a tractor, and the tractor pulled it out. That was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a we had a um, uh, a good time. We we had several uh, two actually a total of four. <laughs> Interesting, two mothers and two daughters who were from other churches, but who who came with us on this trip. And uh, all of them were, were just really excited about the, about the trip and, and what went on. And that's the, that's the second neat thing that happened, uh, because the, one of the ladies that came, her husband is actually from that area, and is kind of well-connected in, in the, the city hall and that. And he called me up the next day, and he said, Pastor Andrews, I just want to thank you for taking uh, my wife, my daughter, on this trip. They loved it. Uh, they were very excited, and I want to do what I can to help you guys um, in your ministry there. And so in a couple weeks, Lord willing, I'm going to be going with him out to, uh, out to the city of Molhus, which is, uh, which is the city, that's the actual city where the, that administers that rural area, and uh, talking with some of the people in City Hall and seeing what we can do to get a, possibly a piece of property where we can build a... Um, uh, some sort of covering so we can have our services in the dry place. Rainy season begins officially next month, and uh, that's always a time of, every time we go out to Bongos during, during rainy season, there's always that big question mark. Are we going to be able to have our open-air service? And um, so if we could have a place that would actually, we could actually build a, a, a small church building, that would be wonderful. That would be outstanding. And so this is this is happening. This was of God. It, God brought a whole bunch of circumstances about so that this uh, lady and her daughter would go, and uh, and God impressed this on their hearts. So so this is wonderful. Be praying for this situation. It would be a huge blessing. And then finally, the third uh, exciting thing about that about that trip to Bongoshta was at the end, uh, we brought it, uh, uh, several examples of the several samples of the Source of Light Ministries um, discipleship course. And about 10 people came up and signed up for the course and are now doing the first lessons. When we go back, we'll take the next lessons out and uh, we'll correct their first lessons. And they're very excited about this. They were when After the service, we called them up and uh, there, there was a lot of excitement about it. They're very interested in learning and really actually thirsty to, uh, to learn about the Word of God. So uh, that was very exciting, one of the, one of the best parts of, uh, of the trip for me. So that was Saturday. We got back on Saturday after midnight. Usually on these trips we do. We go out in the morning. We get back about midnight. Uh, because we're so we're so um, exhausted after these trips, we don't, on, on the days when we go to Bongosha on Saturday, on Sunday, we don't have Sunday school at our church. Uh, but, but this Sunday, I went to Sunday school at our mother church, which is just a couple blocks from where we live. And uh, there, I met a young couple from our church, and the, the, the lady, her name is Krishnaj, the lady was accepted as a, as a member of our church. So on Sunday, we added another member to our congregation. That's always exciting. If you're a pastor or you're a minister, you know that anytime you add a new member to your group, it's just really neat. And to see her, uh, she's been with us about a year, uh, learning and growing in the Lord, and just to see her excitement and see her stand up and give her testimony, uh, it was just neat. It, it doesn't get better than that. So then, uh, that was um, that was Sunday morning, Sunday evening. We at our church, we were, we were at, our, at our at the congregation, we had of course our normal service. Before that, four o'clock, uh, we did our we have our evangelism, our monthly evangelism campaign. Uh, uh, it, in our at our own church, uh, we decided we would do this every month. Uh, the same the same weekend we go to Bongoshta, we come back, and since we don't have Sunday school. Then in the afternoon, the people in our church get together, and we work to evangelize our community. So we did that. This is actually only the second month we've done that, um, but it was really, really great. Uh, we had a good turnout. This, this, these are people from our church, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's when you have a small church uh, like we do, 22 now members. Um, 
So uh, we had we had a very high percentage. I forget how many people exactly were there, but a high percentage. I put some pictures up on the website, but the pictures I put up, there's not everybody there that was there for the evangelism. So um, it was a good number, good group of people. We we focused on the area that's right around where we're going to be building the new church. A lot of people didn't know that we were going to be building, and so we had this opportunity to talk to them also. Then our evening service, the challenge of our evening service was that the the club that has opened up next door had their music blaring, and so, you know, we competed with them. And it's, uh, you know, the, the, the old hymns of the faith and the newer choruses competing with Bob Marley, uh, basically. So uh, it was a, it, it's always interesting, and, and we're preaching the gospel, and, and uh, the world is going on around us. So be praying for us. Lots of stuff, uh, in, lots of stuff going on. Um, very exciting. This week is going to be a, an intense week of uh, just, uh, it's not real glamorous stuff. It's going to be paperwork and, and uh, bureaucracy and looking at, looking at plans, hopefully, and, and uh, making, making, preparing the way for 2016. So that was our weekend, and uh, we're excited to see what God's doing. Looking forward to coming back with some other things. I've got a, um, got a couple interesting uh, video casts coming up. Probably this week, a couple more. Uh, just keep you updated about what's going on. God's blessing. We're excited, uh, and we're and we're very grateful for the part that all of you play in this. So that's my report for the day uh, from São Luis, Brazil. This is your man in Brazil. <laughs>